here we are in the lovely piney woods of upstate New York, and we're talking again about writing research papers. I'd like to talk about how to think about mapping out your annotated bibliography, and which types of articles you'd like to keep in your annotated bibliography, and how to not just get stuck in talking about one aspect of your topic, but that you your annotated bibliography allows you to just sort of cover the waterfront and explore many different aspects of your topic, even if you plan to, say, not use all of the articles when you actually write your paper. So let's talk about, a, a, say, a topic. Let's talk about a topic of, say, Virginia Tech. Now, we know that's a huge topic, so let's say, hmm, let's focus on something about school violence. Now, as, as we look at that, we'll look at different aspects of it. So we might want to look at the historical aspect. So then in the in, in the um, annotated bibliography you would like to you would need to find articles and you, the best thing to do is to have subcategories. So have categories historical aspects of school violence and just start listing them out. And of course the first things that come to mind are like Columbine, Arkansas, etc. You could even go back as far as say say um, in a college, go back to Texas. Okay. In the, set, in the second category, you would probably look at um, things like the sociological aspects of school shootings. So there'd be various aspects of that, you know, different theories of, of how, essentially, in the nature-nurture element of, of arguments of how people and why people behave the way they do, you could look at the sociological things, say, hey, you know, society made them do it. I, that's horrible. Of course, it, society did not make them do it. but. Uh, part and parcel of that is this whole notion of the bully. And, and remember in Columbine, there was a big element um, that said that, that this was sort of a consequence of, of years of bullying. Another type of thing would be maybe the sociology of games and of role-playing, role-playing games that are violent. Remember those um, shooter games, first-person shooter games were Doom in particular, what th was sort of um, created, it was put up there as, as a causal agent for the behaviors of, of these students. So that would be also under the sociological things. Now, you might put psychological theories of why people behave the way they do. So then you have psychological. Now in that case, you might put um, things like emulatory violence, look at theories of, say, why people behave violently after seeing uh, people in authority behave with violence, or role, role or leaders behave violently. So that you could look at Bandura as, as one example. And in terms of psychology, you could also look at the elements of, say, the connections between um, abuse or say even just mental illness and look at that. So in these different categories when you're doing your um, annotated bibliography let's say you need to find 20 or 25 sources. Have at least five categories, five solid categories that you can use to flesh out your article. Now again granted you probably won't use all of them but it's so valuable in terms of, of going into the, the article itself and coming up with arguments and, and support for your positions and also illustrations and case studies. So those are, those are very good. In addition to the case studies that you might want to have, you may also want to jot down histories of ideas. For example, to go back to Bandura and emulatory violence, you may want to go ahead and list out all the different people in the history of that idea of people imitating um, violent behavior and sort of imprinting children with the tendency to act out with violence and act out one's emotions. So I hope that's been helpful and interesting and um, stay tuned for the next installment of Research Tips. <laughs> this, is focus on, this focuses on annotated bibliographies.